Dear friends, welcome to Infos. Welcome to another video from uh, oil and gas training. In this video, we are discussing about uh, oil and gas history in India. Uh, how many oil companies are there? Uh, the first oil well drill, uh, the production was started in which year, etc. So, total history of uh, uh, oil and gas operations and at present where we are operating and what are the, our petro hydrocarbon reserves and other potential um, operating field etc so you can familiarize various activities as part of a general knowledge uh, most of the companies are asking these type of general knowledge in their uh, uh, competitive exams so locations uh, identifying the places and uh, identify the company, familiarize the company activities, etc. Uh, welcome to this video. The petroleum industry in India dates back to 1889 when the first oil deposit in the country were discovered near the town of Dick Boy in the state of Azam. So that is the first. Uh, oil discovery was uh, or oil industry history started in 1889. The natural gas industry in India began uh, much later than 1960. Maybe it was started but officially uh, this is the uh, information and discovery of gas field in Assam and Maharashtra, Mumbai field. So both industries now potentially working in India. Let us see how where and how and where it is. This is the uh, welcome welcome board on the oil industry or Dick Boy. If you visit Azam, we can see that word. Systematic drilling began in 1891 and two years later in 1901, uh, Asia's first oil refinery was set up in Dick Boy, Azam. It is still functional and the world's oldest operating refinery. See, we have very good uh, experience in refinery operation. So, this is the uh, picture of uh, Dick Boy refinery started in 1901 uh, with the minimum capacity that time and with, with the minimum facility you can see that word. Many revamping and restructuring and modernization uh, taken place in uh, various stage later. Now, it is a a uh, modern refinery, you can visit the uh, IOC website and uh, you can see the history of uh, uh, this uh, Dick Boy refinery, you can see that one. Uh, so, request you to read this type of information from Google to improve, increase your knowledge on general knowledge. It will help you to understand the petroleum industry uh, stories and uh, uh, the way it operating. Uh, uh, and uh, it will be help for you to your competitive exams. <clears throat> OGC is another one of the company I am uh, giving uh, or we will discuss in detail later. OGC systematically started its uh, geophysical surveys on the own area considered prospective on the basis of global analogy. <clears throat> Oil and Natural Gas Corporation discovered oil at Cambay in 1958, that is a Bombay offshore, which was considered to be the first oil discovery outside of Azam in India. So that's why this information I have provided. After the Azam, this is the first oil and gas discovery uh, in India, that is in, uh, nearly uh, near to the Bombay offshore, Cambay. So totally it is called Bombay High. The giant Anglesher field in the state of Gujarat uh, find out in 1960, Kalol in 61, Lakwa in 64, Galeki in 68, uh, etc., etc. Many gas discovery in Manhar, Tibba in Rajasthan in 69. So this, uh, this uh, before 75, we have uh, discovered many, many oil fields in various locations in India. This is a summary of that information. The details are uh, coming in the uh, subsequent uh, coming slide. So these are the history by date wise 1948, 56, ONGC, it was there, 59, Oil India came 
and uh, 60 oil stuck in Angola, 62 public sector communique, etc. Then 1974, Bombay had discovered. Just to read this type of information from various oil company website and uh, nowadays it is easily available in Google as well. So this type of information to improve your knowledge and the general knowledge to understand the history of uh, oil industry in India. Bombay High is the largest oil field in India, is Bombay High. It is situated about uh, 160 kilometers north of Bombay coast in Mumbai, Maharashtra. That is an offshore oil field. It's an offshore, it is an uh, offshore oil field. Offshore field, it produces nearly 36% of our domestic production and 14% of India's requirement. It is operating by ONGC. So, some uh, nearly... 14% uh, requirement we are meeting uh, by ONGC offshore and uh, other onshore also we are uh, significantly uh, producing some significant quantities as well. Let us see that one, uh, how this all information. India have two main oil exploration company in public sector. One is uh, Oil India Limited, uh, working mainly in onshore areas like Assam and other northeast states. Uh, plus uh, some uh, um, uh, presence in uh, uh, offshore uh, field as well. Uh, we will discuss that one in later. And uh, second company is ONGC Oil and Natural Gas Corporation, mainly operating in uh, operating areas offshore, Bombay High and uh, presence in other area as well. Bombay High is the core uh, operating area of ONGC. Still, uh, uh, ONGC also operating. Uh, both onshore and offshore. Uh, uh, plus, both of these companies are working. Uh, they have a good presence in uh, uh, foreign countries, overseas uh, participation in overseas oil and gas companies. We will see that. We will discuss that one later. During second five-year plan, our uh, oil uh, hydrocarbon industry plan, how it began. Uh, during the second five-year plan to tide over the petroleum crisis, the government has to set up Indian Refineries Limited in 1958 after the independence. That this company was entrusted with the production of new new refineries, Numati in Azam and Barauni in Bihar. So uh, old refineries started. Uh, for proper distribution and marketing of the product, Indian oil was formed in '64. Number of refineries were formed in successive years in Cochin, Madras, Haldia. In 1976, Burma Shell and Caltex refineries situated at Trombe and Vishagavadnam respectively were nationalized. So this uh, uh, we will discuss uh, refineries history in as a separate video. This is uh, we have focused uh, oil and gas exploration and production. So the upstream industry. So, so a refinery is coming to downstream industry. So, we will discuss that one later. So, to in this video, we are focusing upstream industry, oil and gas exploration and production. Major oil and gas field in India. Number one is offshore, uh, sorry, onshore field. As I said, you in the aerial Digboy and Azam is the, uh, the largest, uh, one of the oldest oil oil field in India, Digboy field. It is one of the oldest oil field in India, situated in Taipam Hills, Diburga uh, district, Azam. There are around 85 oil wells. Not now, this is the old information, maybe more than uh, that one now. Uh, wells in the region, oil is supplied to the refinery at Digboy. Refinery is there, uh, started a very old refinery. Then uh, Nahar Khatiya oil field that is also in Azam. In this region, oil production started in 1954. It lies 32 kilometers to the southwest of Digboy and on the bank, left bank of the uh, Barhi Dihiling River. Uh, same in Azam. Oil from this area is supplied to the refineries of uh, Nunamati, uh, Nunamati, Azam, and so refinery in another refinery in Azam, Barauni in Bihar. I think uh, three refineries in Azam and uh, another big refinery is uh, Bihar. So oil is supplying from this area, Azam supplying to the uh, domestic refinery in Azam itself and uh, Bihar. 
total production from Azam and Northeast almost approximately 4,200 metric million uh, ton per annum of crude and 3,000 uh, million standard uh, metric million standard cubic feet uh, per year, meet, uh, cubic uh, meter per year natural gas. This data are approximately only, uh, so it can vary uh, uh, by yearly. So latest data we have to uh, search and find out from Google and the oil and gas uh, updated data so we have to search uh, find out. So uh, yeah, other than Azam, there is uh, another two more oil field, onshore oil field is there in India, one is in Gujarat and one is in Rajasthan. So let us see uh, what are the, these uh, uh, informations available. Gujarat coast is the second largest oil production region of India. Angleshur, Kambat Lumi, Ahmedabad, Kalol, Barkol, etc. are a major location. Angleshur, it is lies in the district of Baruch. Oil from this field is rich in gasoline and kerosene. Oil sent to the Trombe and Koyali refineries for producing value added. There is a mistake. Is there value added products? Uh, Kambay uh, Luni region situated 60 kilometer from west of Vadodara. Very light oil and transport refineries for further process situated near Koyali and Trombe. Uh, these are the nearby refineries. So, and one more region is there, Ahmedabad Kalol region, lies to north of Gulf, uh, uh, Gulf of Kambat is spread off to Mahasana, that is the uh, uh, one area in Gujarat. Kalol is an important, an important oil field in this region. Oil is sent mainly to Koyali refinery near Vadodara. Oil field in Gujarat are operating by various state, central, JV and other private companies. Uh, many uh, public sector companies and uh, private sector companies are also operating here uh, like Kain Energy and Reliance. Uh, total production capacity is around 4.5 metric million ton per year of oil and around 56 uh, billion cubic meters per year natural gas from this region. So, these are the approximate informations available. So, Gujarat also one of the uh, large, second largest field. Rajasthan is the one of the largest onshore oil production state. So, Azam is there, Gujarat is there and Rajasthan also there. These are the uh, uh, map available in Google. These are the area around the Pakistan border it is. These are the Rajasthan uh, hydrocarbon basin. Uh, reserves. The Mangala area is the largest inland oil discovery in India. Major oil fields are Mangala, Saraswati, Rajeshwari. These are the uh, desert areas. Major companies are operating in Dayasthan. ONGC, Kane Energy, Reliance, maybe some other company, etc. And uh, Oil India as well. In addition to this oil field, crude oil has been discovered in UP, Uttar Pradesh, Punjab and Bamar field in Rajasthan. So other field in Rajasthan as well. This are one picture available in Rajasthan uh, oil gathering center. So offshore uh, oil field, we can say uh, we have uh, some significant uh, hydrocarbon reserves in uh, our offshore uh, fields as well. In that one, Western Coast offshore field that is uh, nearly uh, Orissa and uh, Mumbai. Let us see that one. Bombay High is the largest one. It is the largest oil and gas producing field in India, contributing over 65% of the total crude oil production in India. The estimated reserves from this area is about 35 million tons of crude oil and about uh, 40,000 million cubic meters of natural gas, approximately the estimated reserves. Oil production started from this field around 1976, approximately maybe in between that A time. 
Basin oil field, that is the number one large field, it is located to south to Bombay High. Here, rich deposits of oil and natural gas available. Ali, Ali, Aliabet oil field, it is situated at Aliabet Island, about 40 km, 45 km to south of Bhavnagar. This all uh, you can search in the, see the map and information more available in the Google and uh, oil company website like ONGC and OIL website, Oil India website. Then uh, we have uh, Eastern, uh, Eastern Coast oil field as well, uh, coming to Andhra Pradesh and uh, Tamil Nadu, Puducherry. Uh, that area is coming uh, Eastern Coast. Uh, crude oil and natural gas have been, uh, gas has been uh, discovered in the basin or, and delta regions of the Mahanadi, Orissa and Godavari Krishna, uh, Andhra Pradesh and Telangana and Kaveri River Basin, uh, Tamil Nadu and Puducherry. So, uh, these areas also, uh, they have uh, um, uh, hydrocarbon discovery was there uh, and in uh, offshore area. The Rava field, one of the bigger field, it is that in the area of Godavari Krishna offshore basin. And it's an important oil field expected to produce about 3 million tons of crude oil annually. Though Narimannanam and Kovilappal oil field of the Kaveri Delta are also major onshore oil field. ONGC, Oil India Limited, Reliance are the major oil companies, production companies are operating in these areas. Uh, so, we have uh, uh, discussed uh, um, oil and gas production history uh, starting from Azam and uh, starting from 1881. Uh, uh, then onshore oil field uh, spread over Azam, Rajasthan and Gujarat. And uh, uh, offshore oil field is in Bombay High and Western and Eastern. In this area, uh, we have discussed and uh, now some public sector companies, oil companies, uh, oil and gas exploration working in upstream area. What are the, uh, let, let, let us discuss on some information on this uh, upstream oil and gas companies, uh, mainly on public sector. ONGC uh, is the uh, bigger Largest oil and gas exploration and production company in India. Uh, not only in India, they have a good presence in uh, overseas uh, foreign countries as well. See, you can see here almost uh, uh, ONGC is operating area. Not only operating research center, uh, their corporate office and other marketing system. And they are not only operating in uh, uh, production, exploration and production. Uh, recently, they have started with... Uh, uh, refining, marketing, uh, LNG, natural gas, etc., etc. So, OGC has presence in uh, all type of hydrocarbon business. You can say that one. You can see. OGC is the largest oil and gas exploration and production company in India. Operating both onshore and offshore. That is very important. Refer the figure here. See, these areas are offshore. Rajamundri is offshore, Eastern offshore. And uh, Karaykal is uh, Mumbai offshore, that is here, Kambay offshore. And Angleshar, Ahmedabad, Mahasana, Jodhpur, are, all are, uh, Jodhpur is in Rajasthan, and uh, Mahasana, Ahmedabad, Angleshar in Gujarat, Bokaro is uh, uh, Orissa or uh, uh, that area. Uh, I don't remember exact area, that one. Uh, <coughs> and Azam is also, Tribura also, Rajamundri is in uh, Telangana. And uh, Tamil Nadu area, this is Tamil Nadu and Puducherry area. So, uh, so all, all, uh, all, all, all over the India, ONGC have presence in uh, uh, oil and gas production. ONGC contributes uh, to uh, around 70% of India's crude oil and around 80% of its natural gas production. This some of the contributions, informations will vary yearly and yearly. That's why the uh, various information available. So in generally, ONGC is the largest 
ഓയിൽ ആൻഡ് ഗ്യാസ് പ്രൊഡക്ഷൻ കമ്പനി ഇൻ ഇന്ത്യ ഒ ജി സി ഓപ്പറേറ്റിംഗ് ആൻഡ് പാർട്ടിസിപ്പേറ്റിംഗ് ഓയിൽ ആൻഡ് ഗ്യാസ് ബിസിനസ് ഇൻ ഫിഫ്റ്റീൻ കൺട്രീസ് അറൗണ്ട് ദ വേൾഡ് സോ ഓവർസീസ് പ്രസൻസ് ആസ് വെൽ സോ യു ക്യാൻ വിസിറ്റ് ഒ ജി സി വെബ്സൈറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഗിവിംഗ് ദ ഇൻഫർമേഷൻ ഐ ഐ എം ഓൺലി ഗിവിംഗ് സം മിനിമം ഇൻഫർമേഷൻ ഓവർ വ്യൂ ഓഫ് ദ ഓയിൽ ആൻഡ് ഗ്യാസ് ഹിസ്റ്ററി ദൻ ഒ എൻ ജി സി ആൻഡ് ഒ എൻ ജി സി ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ഓഫ് കമ്പനീസ് ആർ മെനി സോ യു ക്യാൻ സീ ദ ലാർജ് ഹൗ ലാർജ് ഹൗ ബിഗ് വാസ് ഒ എൻ ജി സി ഓപ്പറേറ്റിംഗ് ഇൻ ദിസ് ഏരിയ ഒ എൻ ജി സി ഈസ് ദ ട്രുവലി ഇൻറ്റഗ്രേറ്റഡ് ആൻഡ് പ്രൊഡക്ഷൻ റിഫൈനിങ് റീറ്റെയിൽ വൺ ഈസ് ടു വൺ ഈസ് ടു വൺ സോ ദേ ആർ ഓപ്പറേറ്റിംഗ് ഇൻ പ്രൊഡക്ഷൻ റിഫൈനിങ് റീറ്റെയിൽ ബിസിനസ് സോ ദ ഹാവ് മെനി ഓൺ കമ്പനീസ് ആർ ദയർ ആൻഡ് സബ്സിഡറി are there like see over overseas exploration is there called overseas ongc videsh uh, 100% own company then refinery they are operating they are they have uh, around 51% share in hpcl refinery in the sub petroleum then ongc mrpl refinery then ongc ompl ompl is here it is written ഒ എൻ ജി സി മാംഗ്ലൂർ പെട്രോകെമിക്കൽ ലിമിറ്റഡ് ദെൻ പൈപ്പ് ലൈൻ ബിസിനസ് പെട്രോനെറ്റ് ബിസിനസ് ഇൻ ദ ഹാവ് ദ പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് ഈസ് റിട്ടൺ ഹിയർ ആൻഡ് പെട്രോകെമിക്കൽ ബിസിനസ് ഓപ്പൽ ഓപ്പൽ ഈസ് ഒ എൻ ജി സി പെട്രോ അഡീഷൻ ലിമിറ്റഡ് ദ ഹാവ് ദ ഹാവ് ഇൻവെസ്റ്റഡ് ഇൻ സം സെസ് ലൈക്ക് സ്പെഷ്യൽ എക്കണോമിക് സോൺ ആൻഡ് ജം ജോയിൻറ്റ് വെൻഡേഴ്സ് വിത്ത് ത്രിപുര പവർ കമ്പനി ദെൻ ടി ബി എൽ ദെൻ സെസ് then pipeline business then associates they have uh, lng they are uh, uh, working with 12.5 percentage with lng business with petronet petron is the, is the uh, public sector company in operating in lng business liquefied natural gas business we will do one video in uh, future about this uh, petronet business and the logistics also they have uh, uh, material and uh, manpower movement also so logistics business as well so these are the see how big a ongc operating in india we are why we are discussing this all information means when a job or opportunity coming for you so you can uh, look that one uh, joining ongc is a we say uh, you can proud of that one i am part of a public sector company in india i am part of a hydrocarbon business in india uh, like uh, Uh, you can work with uh, large uh, public sector and uh, uh, you can start your career in a uh, hydrocarbon business in a prestigious company in india that is also in uh, as well uh, public sector so th- that's why i am giving this uh, information so that will help uh, your uh, career development and some uh, information available in oil india limited as well oil india is fully integrated exploration and production public sector company in the upstream st- sector a navaratna uh, company generally indian public sector large company called in navaratna or mini navaratna oil oil is uh, second largest oil and gas production company in india oil onshore uh, operation spread in the state lake azam arunachal pradesh mizoram tripura nagaland odisha and andhra uh, andhra pradesh and rajasthan see onshore they have uh, business area in many states see assam ap mizoram tripura nagaland maybe small small areas but still oil is operating large area covering uh, entire india offshore also in andaman kerala konkan and kg basin offshore as well so uh, big company uh, oil india limited oil has operation participate in eight uh, countries overseas like usa russia venezuela nigeria bangladesh and libya see they have uh, very good presence in uh, overseas countries uh, foreign countries also so oil india is uh, doing their large operation uh, production and uh, supporting in indian oil and gas industry 
Other major uh, private companies are did not added in this list. Kain Energy and Reliance. We can uh, do a separate video on that one. Kain Energy and Reliance. Reliance. You know that one world largest refineries operating by Reliance only. So we can uh, coming that one into in our refinery section. Thanks for watching this video. Have a good day.